The services that we're offering, it's usually two to three weeks. Okay. And, and to me, it's exciting because knowing by week three, they're in. They've, they've been placed. We don't have anybody that's looking for work that we have not been able to get a job by okay. three, by week three. So they're they're placed in in a job. They're in, they're in a job that they're making a, above living wage, which MIT for Arkansas it says it's like ten dollars and thirty eight cents. So we're averaging between ten dollars and seventy five cents to eleven dollars and fifty cents an hour per client that's working. Wow. Um, so we Great. know. Okay. Because it's not just about getting by; it's about thriving. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and what's it look like to thrive? Well, I got to I got to get you beyond minimum wage. Minimum wage isn't going to cut it. Okay, I've got to get you beyond. You know, um, where's my next meal going to come from? I'm going to give you a box of meals. I got to get you know, mm-hmm. thinking of where my I don't even have the clothes to go to work, or I don't have the work boots, or I don't, we, we've got to provide those immediate services so that they can be equipped to thrive and, and we never know so today alone we had over 20 clients walk in today okay. day isn't over yet yeah i don't know what i don't know what the number's gonna yeah. end up being it's been a busy day <laughs> um so we just know that you know one thing that we feel blessed as a ministry to know that the lord has put us in a place that we didn't have to market to get clients mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they're just showing up yeah Okay. And, and, and so that is reaffirming every day. Mm-hmm. And, and what's so exciting is that, um, you know, we're able to be the hands and the feet. You know, and we know the the churches, what they do best is they educate them in the word and, 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 and they pray on them and pour into them in that way. And we're going, hey, I want to get you to the point that you can hear that word. You can, you can show up. You can walk in the door right. of that church. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to make sure you have the clothes that you're comfortable going in. I'm going to make sure you have the job that so you can pay the gas so that you can get to it. We want to get you to the point that that, that you're ready to to receive mm-hmm. the word, to receive or to grow. Because mm-hmm. when I'm in class, I make sure the class that I teach that, that I share my testimony so that they hear the gospel every time they come in. And so through that process, most of them will chime in and talk about their faith will say, yeah, you know, I grew up in church, or yeah, I accepted Christ when I was uh, I was baptized in jail, or I, you know, mm-hmm. I, I started reading the Bible when I went to prison, but I fell off. Like, so we can go, hey, you know where it looks, where the next step is. So then we can start plugging them into our to our core churches, the churches that we know. They walk through the door, say, hey, I'm from Returning Home. It's it's the welcoming committee, uh, you know, their form, and and they're excited and knowing that. These are the churches, these are the individuals, these are the corporations that invested um, in them when they're at their worst Okay. to get them to their best, to get them to where they can go work for your company that you, you know, you financially supported them to get to be able to get to work mm-hmm. and, and to get to the church and, and all those sort of things.